Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so need and desire by giving them the strategies and tools to implement into their relationship. So today's video, we'll be talking about the stigmas behind going to see a counselor or therapist right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the stigmas behind going to seek a counselor or a therapist. Now, I have to say, if this is your very first video that you are finding, I have three other videos within the series. The first one is um, when you should go and see a counselor and why it's a good thing to go see a counselor. The second one is how to find your right counselor. The third one the third. <laughs> the third one is should you go see a counselor even if your spouse or partner doesn't want to go with you. And finally today's video are, is the stigmas behind going to see a counselor or therapist. So let's talk about it. Some of the stigmas and myths behind going to see a counselor or therapist is that it's punishment. It's seen as punishment for some people. I don't know why that is. It's, I'm laughing because why would it be punishment if you're trying to help your relationship out? That 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 one for, for me, that one is here. I don't understand why it's punishment. Maybe somebody, one of you guys out there, can help your sister out. Why would you see it as punishment if you're trying to help your relationship? Help me out. The second stigma behind going to see a counselor is that you're weak and you cannot handle your own issues. Therefore, you need a third party to come in and to tell you what your issues are or to help you figure out your issues. That's not necessarily true. They're there to give you to give you support. And if you're going down the wrong road, then they're they want to correct you. The way that you're going down the road however because as i spoke about in my other videos they're giving you the work to do you have to take the action you have to do the work you have to be the one to correct said behavior so if you're feeling like you're weak it's because you're weak in one area but it's not because you're weak as the person you're weak as in there is a weakness, there is a breakdown in your relationship why you guys need to go to counseling in the first place. But it's not because you're a weak person. The third myth or stigma is that it is a waste of money. Again, for me, if I cannot get my relationship together by myself, if my spouse cannot help me get our relationship together, and we truly want to stay together. We really want this thing to work out, but we just have no way to do it. Then no amount of money, then no amount of money is going to keep me away from getting my relationship back under control. It's a priceless thing. And just like most people, if you don't have the money, you will find the money. You'll pay something late, not pay something at all. you go take out some money on your credit card, or you'll find something around the house to sell or perform some service as in like you can braid hair or you can help people with their taxes or you wash cars good or you mow the lawn. You will find the money if this is important to you. So it's not a waste of money. Another stigma, another myth is that only rich people go or you have to be rich or you have to be wealthy to go and see a counselor to go and see a coach to go and see a therapist but that's not true either because the average session now I know that this depends all over the world but the average session is a hundred dollars most people blow one hundred dollars on some sneakers sneakers relationship 
To me, there's no comparison, but maybe there is a comparison to some of you out there. We blow $100 on liquor. We blow $100 going to the club. We blow $100 going to get our wig split. We blow $100 on bundles. Just saying. No judgment. Just saying. It's not a waste of money. The next stigma is that most people think that when you're going to see a counselor, you have to be in a bad place. And I actually, I already dispelled this rumor in one of my previous videos because one of the tips was to go and seek counseling before you think you need it. So, yeah. You're not necessarily in a bad place if you're going to seek counseling before you need it. You just don't know what's going on. But that doesn't mean it has to be anything bad. It doesn't even have to mean that it's anything to do with you per se. You just want a better understanding. You want your spouse, you want your partner to open up to you. And a lot of times because your counselor, because your therapist, because your coach knows the questions to ask, they can get your spouse to open up way better than you can. That's their training. They know what to do. They know what questions to ask. So you don't have to be in a bad place. You could be headed that way, though, but you don't have to already actively be in a bad place to go and seek counseling. The next myth I talked about in another video, which is you think that the therapist is going to tell you how to think, how to act, what to do, etc., that's not the case. It could be the case, especially if you're going to see the wrong counselor, the wrong therapist. It can be the case, but it doesn't have to be the case. Just like everything else, you have to put in the time and energy to seek out somebody that's going to work for you, that's going to work for your relationship. And just because they are out there, just because they're a coach, just because they're a counselor, just because they're a therapist, don't mean they are going to work for you. The last myth or stigma is that most of the most of the clients that go are women. That's not true. <laughs> what I've noticed and what I've come to understand is that men seek counseling just as much as women. Women. Men want to be understood just as much as women. Men want to understand you just as much as you want to understand them. So women are going, yes, but men are going too. Even on my channel, yes, I have more women subscribers, but I still got a lot of men on my channel too because they want to understand you just like you want to understand them. So if you think that you need to seek counseling, do it. Take some of that action that I was talking about. Start to look up some of those um, counselors' names. Ask some of your friends and family and trusted co-workers for referrals. Look at their website. Check out their testimonials. Understand that you don't have to suffer in silence. You don't have to go through this thing just wondering, just hoping, how do I get this relationship out of the rut that it's in? Because there are people out there that can help you. I'm one of them. If you need some help with your relationship, I counsel couples. I counsel individuals. If you need some help with your relationship and your spouse does not want to go to a counselor, look in the description box below and send me an email. And in the subject line, put help me with my relationship. I need a counselor. Help me with my relationship. I need a counselor. Trust me, I will help you out. We will turn your relationship around. But yes, you will have to do the work. I cannot do it for you. Even if your spouse, your partner does not want to participate, you will be a happier person. You will understand what's actively going on. And once your partner, once your spouse sees that you're serious about turning things around, they will jump on board. It might take longer, but eventually they will jump on board. As a bonus, if you watch this far, I didn't mention it earlier, but absolutely pray about your situation. 
If something is going down, is going down, pray about your situation. Prayer absolutely changes things. I know firsthand. I shared with you guys, I only revealed that much not too long ago. I was saying that I was praying about something in my own relationship. Prayer changes things. I'll see you guys in another video.